Hi, my name is Nikki Randolph with this edition of the Queen Anne's County Veterans Update. Today we're here to talk about how to apply for veterans benefits. So veterans, get your pens and papers ready to write down some phone numbers and some information because we've got some great information for you. Joining me today is Doug Willie, the Department of Maryland American Legion's Service Officer. Doug, welcome. Welcome, Nikki. Thank you very much for having me here today to help uh, veterans navigate through the VA morass of paperwork and uh, give some good information out for veterans as well as their families. Right. Well, it's important if you are a veteran, especially in Queen Anne's County, and you're not sure how to apply for your VA benefits, we would like you to know that there are a lot of different avenues that you can you can look for to help you get through this process. And probably the one most important one is contacting a local service officer like at the American Legion or even at the Department of Maryland, Doug, who are trained and know how to wade through the paperwork. Other ways that you can apply are online as well, and you have to go to the VA, uh, the VA uh, website to get there, which we'll kind of go over that here in a little bit. But Doug, why should veterans apply for their benefits? What's the most important reason? Mainly Nikki, because they served our country and I don't necessarily, myself, I call them entitlements because veterans have, they do have done everything and they've given the ultimate sacrifice for our country. And whether they're, whether it's a cook in the South Pacific or they were infantrymen in Afghanistan, they've earned some type of benefits. Right, and what kind of benefits what kind of benefits out there? Well, you have, of course, you have your medical benefits if you're, or you have your compensation, you have um, dependence benefits if uh, you're rated over a certain percentage on a compensation claim. Of course, in the, in the end, you ultimately your family entitled to your burial, as well as your flag allowance for the VA cemetery, state cemeteries, mm -hmm. et cetera. All right, well, just some of the benefits that the veterans are eligible for. There's compensation, education and training, home loans, life insurance, vocational rehabilitation. There's a lot more than just your health benefits. Oh, definitely, definitely. And you did mention it, burials, memorials. Uh, there's burial benefits. There's uh, headstones, markers, and medallions, presidential memorial certificates. There's a nationwide gravesite locator, all geared to help veterans with, you know, issues with the VA. Now, one of the ways that you can apply for your veterans benefits is to go online and if you go to vabenefits.vba.gov, it will open up a website called VonApp. And it's not that hard to navigate, but if you don't have computer skills, and there's a lot of our older veterans that don't want anything to do with the computer, that's okay. You don't have to apply online. This is where Doug comes in. Correct. He comes in, he will come and help you fill out your paperwork. You give him a call, he'll you know meet you anywhere at the Legion or the cafeteria or somewhere and he will help you get through the paperwork because it is it can be encumbersome. Exactly. The main thing with the Vaughn app is that it's electronically filed. It, once the VA accepts it, once they get it they'll accept it but they're gonna send a copy of a signature page back to you to certify it is you. You're filing to protect your data claim for compensation purposes, mm -hmm. but they're always going to send that signature sheet back for the veteran to sign it or the widow, right. so to speak. They'll have to send that back to the, to the VA for them to start processing the claim. Okay, so it's really not any quicker to do it online. Is that what you're saying? It's not as quicker, but you may save a month of benefits in the long run for your, because the data claim is what the data your benefits start at, your compensation right. benefits, your right. mo monetary benefits. Right. So if it's saving, you know, instead of waiting till April 1st, if you follow March 31st, that's a whole month of benefits you're, you're going to be gaining by doing online. Right. Because they protect, they protect the veteran's data claim is what it does. Okay. All right. Well, if you're not computer literate, there are ways that you can apply for it offline. And one of the best ways that I can recommend anybody to do is to visit your local veterans' offices. You know, in Queen Anne's County, we have uh, veterans' offices in Easton, Pocomoke, Annapolis that people can go for help. Or you can visit your local service organizations in your community. In Queen Anne's County, we have the VFW in Graysonville. We have the American Legion Post in Centerville, Queenstown, and Stevensville, who all have service officers on 
staff, volunteer staff, that you just give them a call and say, hey, we need some help with our VA paperwork, and they will step up to the plate and arrange to help you get your paperwork filled out. When all else fails, you can also call the Disabled American Veterans up in Baltimore, and they work 24 hours around the clock for our veterans to ensure that they get what they are entitled to. Um, the Annapolis Vet Center is uh, probably the closest one to Queen Anne's County residents, but again, if you don't want to go to the vet center, you're not sure you want to deal with the people in person, then contact somebody locally. And Doug is local. He lives in Easton, but he'd be more than happy to come down to Queen Anne's County and to help our veterans out to surface through the paperwork. There's also the Easton Vet Center. That's um, it's the Maryland Veterans Center, right. correct? The Harvard of Maryland Veterans Center. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a new center that just opened up in Easton. They've got staff, on, staff there that will help you fill out the mm -hmm. paperwork. But... Me being a Legion member, I'm mm -hmm. always going to push people towards the Legions. And in Queen Anne's County, we've got three Legions that are ready to step up and help you out. Uh, you've got the Ken Island American Legion Post, 278 in Stevensville, Maryland. And their phone number is 410-643-2728. You have the Benedict A. Andrew Post in 296, Queenstown, Maryland. Their number is 410-827-8182. Mm -hmm. You have Jeff Jefferson Davis Post 18 in Centerville, and their number is 410-758-3584. Then we have the VFW Post 7464 in Graysonville, Maryland, and their number is 410-827-8194. You have the Disabled American Veterans out of Baltimore, Maryland. Their number is 410-230-4440. And then you have the Department of Maryland American Legion, Doug Wiley, the service officer, and your contact number is? We're 410-230-4420. We're out of the federal building, as well as like the DAV is. We are the paid experts on the on subject matter. We go to training twice a year, and, the, and, and we are trained by the VA on their regulations on what's required for for compensation, dependence benefits, et cetera. Now, would you recommend most people to use a service officer to help them wade through this paperwork? I'm glad you asked that. I would recommend, no matter if it's American Legion, I'm always pushing for them. The DAV, the AMVETS, the VFW, use a service organization. Never deal with the Veterans Administration by yourself. And why is that? Because they take they speak in a different language than we you and I do. <laughs> they, they're like VA math. Um, they are they're a government bureaucracy. Granted, they're here to help us, but there are lots of ways they're not going to represent you as you sitting across my desk in Baltimore said, this is my, my, my hardship, I'm a homeless veteran, et cetera. They're not going to treat you the same way we're going to treat you. Right. And all of our services are free of charge. So be mindful of that. Don't ask a lawyer. Don't contact your congressman. Use a service organization that will help or there for you. Exactly right. And that's one thing I can't impress more than anything is your local service organizations, their primary purpose is to support and help the veterans through these issues. Now, veterans, you've got to do your part, too. You just can't sit there at your house and say, oh, I need my veterans benefits and just think about it, think about it. You've got to do a little bit of your legwork yourself. But the most important thing is get your paperwork in order, get everything that you need, contact a service officer, sit down, get that paperwork filled out, get that paperwork turned in. Because you know what? You're not gonna get your benefits without doing the paperwork. And if you get turned down the first time, do not let that be a stopper. Just regroup and reapply because you earned those entitlements and it is your right your right to have them. And we want to make sure that all of our veterans, not only in Queen Anne's County, but in the great state of Maryland, ha ha ha, no. 500,000. <laughs> There's a lot of veterans in the state of Maryland that do not have their benefits. And we want to ensure that everybody knows that if you're eligible, you deserve them. And we will fight for you to get your veterans benefits. Is that correct? More than correct, 100% correct. We, we are there for you. The main thing I implore every veteran to do is get their DD-214 or if you're a World War II veteran, your discharge certificate. 
that is your walking paper. That is the most important piece of paper of your life, your DD-214. Because of any of this we're talking about, we cannot do anything unless you have that. And if you do not know where your DD-214 is, we can help you track it down. So the next time when you're sitting there thinking about it, it's time to do my VA stuff, contact your local service organizations and we will make sure that you got what you need and get it into the department so you can start re you can start receiving what you are entitled to. Well, Doug, I thank you so much for joining me today and helping us a little navigate a little bit on how to apply for benefits. And again, uh, if you need more information or you want the phone numbers again, feel free to contact uh, us via Facebook or you can call contact me at the American Legion in Stevensville at 410-643-2728 and I will definitely put you in touch with the right people. This has been Nikki Randolph with the Queen Anne's County Veterans Update. You guys have a great day.